right. On the ski. <laughs> this is sick. I came down here yesterday for uh, the Junchine launch party. And then the founder of Junchine was like, dude, I got a jet ski. Do you want to go out and surf tomorrow on the ski? And I was like, fuck yeah. So I'm not running today. This is what I'm doing. I'm stoked, dude. A wild mat has appeared. Yeah, we're going three on the... <laughs> How you feeling? Good morning. No talking. I feel, I feel great. No talking. You're still my intern. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. No talking. Sorry. <laughs> you ready to go? Are you ready to go? I asked you a question. It was like kind of a high pressure situation, backing this thing off of the thing. Yeah. Traffic jam. And immediately I just slammed it right into the dock. <laughs> really? Yeah. Then he was just like, oh, oh. And I was like, sorry, man. Out here with Forrest. Phew. Towing us into these bombs. It's like double overhead right now. If we do flip for some reason, yeah. Uh, just watch your head. Like, yeah. just like, kind of. Don't hit your head. Cody's like, yeah, just make sure my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure we get the clip. <laughs> I'm gonna get barreled on this next one. <laughs> you filming? Yeah, filming. Cody? <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks. It's a, a balance check. I'm gonna get out of here. Jet skis. Get yours today for the low price of $10,000. That really is. That's like an ad right from the 80s. Jet skis. The most fun you can have, not on Molly. So that was sick. Big shout out to Forrest for taking us out on the jet ski this morning. What a legend. You know, I thought, like, when he pitched it last night, I thought it was going to be like a, you know, he drove us around and then. So we could step off into waves and then maybe we'd drive him around, but he just, he just drove the whole time. He just like w wanted to do it for us. What an absolute legend. Love that guy. Love June Shine as a company. It's awesome. I'm back in LA now. We drove up. Kelsey and I had like a little breakfast and then we drove up just right back. And I just did a podcast. We did the TMG pod with Cutie Cinderella, which was fun. And now I'm starving. So I might try to eat, eat a little something, something. I don't know. I had like this big ass cinnamon bun this morning. You know when you like start your day with a lot of sugar and then the rest of your day is like, it just, you just feel weird. Like I, I've been having like a half a panic attack all day. All I want to eat is more sugar. It's all I can think about. If I start my day with sugar, then all I want all day is just complete junk food. So that's what I want right now. I want to like go to Chick-fil-A and just eat 10 sauces by themselves. So I'm gonna figure out what to do. I kind of wanted to go for a run, but it's 93 degrees right now. But I kind of wanted to do it just like a fucking, you know, just as like a, just just like a tough it out sort of thing. Like just as a toughness, like just go run in the, it's like my least favorite thing to do ever is run in the heat. So I kind of wanted to just be like, ah, fuck you. This is for that fucking cinnamon bun, but I probably won't, but I want to. So I might, but I probably will not, but I just might because I want to. Or I might not. Do I want to? Guess we'll see. Well, for a run, 
in this fucking heat wave. 85 degrees right now, and I'm dying. 7.8 miles in, I've just been walking. Every like five minutes, I just stop and walk. I feel like a failure, but I just gotta keep going. There's no element quite like heat. I've run in the snow, I've run in minus 30, I've run in this, the rain, the wind. Nothing is worse than heat. He just suffocates you. There's nowhere you can go. It's just, oh, salt just leaves your body. And you just start feeling sick to your stomach. And all you want to do is like find shade, but when you do, there's no relief. It just feels like you're, you know, burning in the eternal fires of hell. <laughs> but you know, other than that, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I gotta find some water. Uh, Marina Mart, maybe I can get a water there. Oh my God. Oh. All right, maybe I can keep going now. I'm gonna try. I know I'll feel, I'm gonna feel good later. It's amazing how much sleep fucking matters for training. I'm gonna stop again. <laughs> it's been two seconds. Sleep matters so much. I, I'm like not drinking again. I only drank once for the Junshine launch party and then I haven't drank since. So I'm sober when I go out, but even just staying out till midnight, even just a couple hours past when I normally go to bed, fucks me up. You just feel depressed in the morning, it's crazy. It's only been like the last three years where that's been a thing, but it's wild how much it affects me. So this is the bike that I got. In order to start riding my new bike, I gotta get cleats, sh bike shorts, bike jersey, helmet, a tire pump, I gotta get like emergency CO2 canisters and like a spare tire, and I have to get a wind trainer. So I'm gonna go to the bike shop right now and try and get as much as I can. And Kelsey's gonna help me buy clothes that aren't too bike guy, you know? I don't wanna be, I always said I'm not gonna be that 30 year old. I feel like it's a requirement. As soon as guys turn 30, it's like, well, I gotta buy some bike shorts and start getting out there cycling. But you know what, you started doing it when you were 31. That's what I'm saying. I'm in my 30s now. Well, it's like, I keep, like, like, why am I doing this? I don't want to do this, but it's like yeah. some force of nature is making me become a cyclist. It's part of this era in a man's life, I guess. You're in your cyclist era. I want to look as less dorky as possible. Okay. So you're going to help me do I'll that. I'll help you. Today. Guess what I saw today? A wetsuit that looked like a regular suit. <laughs> Actually? Yeah. That's awesome. I know. Fuck. Marcus had an idea one time to do a, a wetsuit with a shark fin out of, out of the bag. <laughs> that is funny. I know. Okay, anyways, we'll see you at the bike shop. The bike shop. All right, bike store haul. You can, uh, this is this is a sick jersey, honestly. This jersey is cool as hell. That's my jersey, a little burgundy action. That's not that high on the door commenter, you know? You want to be low. I think that's about three. These bike shorts are like kind of like Tour de France. I don't like my parents bike a lot. I've never seen them wear ones with like over the shoulder things. Like this is some pro shit. So I'm gonna give this a four on the dorkometer. This helmet, uh, sleek and cool as hell. I'm gonna give that also probably a three. And perhaps the least dorkiest of all, Boom! Yeah, that's right. Oh my God. I just feel like you see me in these and you're like, hold on, is he standing still or going 100 miles an hour? Because those are fast as shit. And they certainly are. Picture me, picture me on the, on the aero bars right now. In my bike shorts with the fucking straps. I also got some, I got like a CO2 and some like tire changing shit. And that's that, that's the haul. So overall on the dorkometer, four, which is just not that high, which is good. It's like golf, you wanna be low on the dorkometer. So I'm feeling good. And no offense to people that cycle all the time. And I just think it's kinda, it's, it's, it can get pretty dorky. And it's also the most expensive sport in the fucking world. This, all of this was $700, 700 bucks. Just on like the basics. I mean, I, I got like nice shit, but still like it's insane, so. I was having the worst run. Just so I was like, 
hungry and just every second I wanted to stop. I was listening to this boring podcast, dry as hell. And I just fucking was like, this sucks, this sucks. And then I turned on some music. Whew. That's a life hack right there. You guys ever heard of music? Holy shit, you guys gotta check that shit out. Seriously, it is top notch. Oh my God. Why did no one tell me about music this whole time? My whole life I've just been listening to podcasts. Oh, music is the best. I'm having a great time. So that's my training tip for today. Music. Sounds like a blessing. But I got a few questions. Maybe you could teach me. Alright, this morning. So what's the word on? I did seven miles. Slow as hell. 9.36. Ah, oh, whatever. That was a tough one. I don't know, I have no energy today. Sometimes it's just not feeling it, you know? It's tough, because it's like, on one hand, it's like, you gotta listen to your body, and then on the other hand, it's like, I don't wanna be, I wanna train hard no matter what, you know? So I don't really know what the right answer is. Right now, I'm listening to my body, because I feel a little lazy. But still got seven miles done, you know? I was thinking like 10 in the back of my mind, but too much for today. Nothing smells better than money. Crypto can't take that from me. My trust funds still go dummy. I love all my 